Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel. In this video lecture, we will consider to determine whether the following systems represented by the impulse response are causal and stable. So under this, we will consider the second numerical. The first numerical we considered in the previous video lecture. Here we will consider the second numerical which states that H of N is equal to 1 by 4 to the power magnitude of N. So this is the impulse response. The task is to determine is this causal and stable. Before we proceed further, the very important thing is to test this for causality and stability. The important thing is to sketch this signal. Is this okay? So first uh, let me sketch how does X of N look like. Once we are done, it is very easy to determine, uh, to test that for uh, the properties. So this is X axis and Y axis. So this represents H of N with respect to N. It takes the different values. N takes the different values of N equal to 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. And it also takes minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and so on. So let me check. Let me put all the values of N. Let me plot this. Once we got the plotting of H of N, I said it is very easier to determine for causality and stability. Yes, let me put n equal to 0. It is 1 by 4 to the power uh, 0. Anything to the power 0 is always 1. We know that. Hence, at the 0th position, the amplitude is going to be 1. So let me write the same thing. The signal is being represented with the amplitude 1 at n equal to 0. Now, uh, you please put n equal to 1. If I uh, At this side, the n takes the positive values and at the left side, the n takes the negative values. And I am putting positive values of n. If I put n equal to 1, it is 1 by 4 to the power 1 is nothing but 1 by 4. So here I can uh, represent that as like this. So this is 1 by 4. The amplitude is 1 by 4. Hope I am clear. Similarly, please put n equal to 2. If I put n equal to 2, I am going to get 1 by 4 to the power 2. What is that going to be? It is going to be 1 by 8. Is this fine? So this is how it looks like. This is 1 by 8. Similarly, it continues till infinity. I can put n equal to 3, 4 till infinity. Is this fine? Now, uh, check the same thing for uh, uh, negative values of n. If I put n equal to minus 1. What, what I am going to get if I put n equal to minus 1, I am going to get 1 by 4 to the power minus 1. What is that going to be? It is going to be 1 divided by 1 by 4. 4 comes to the numerator, it, it is going to be 4. Is this, is this fine? So I am, I am going to get the amplitude of 4 at the position n equal to minus 1. So let me write this is amplitude 4. Is this fine? Similarly put n equal to minus 2. If I put n equal to minus 2, I am going to get 1 by 4 to the power minus 2. It is going to be 1 divided by 1 by 4 square. It is 1 divided by 1 by 16. And 16 comes to the numerator and I would get that here. And if I plot it, it is going to be, so let me indicate this with a straight line and I would say its amplitude is 16. Similarly, it continues till minus infinity. Is this fine? So this is the plotting of H of N. So now let me consider testing this system, uh, this impulse response for uh, causality. First we need to test this for causal. Is this system causal or not? What is the condition for a system to be causal? Its impulse response, that is H of n, must be 0 for n less than 0. That means, if I consider this graph, I should not have, I should not have anything under this region. As uh, I am going to get the signal in that region, the answer is the system is non-causal. Is this fine? Non causal. Why? Because H of n does exist for n less than 0, which violates the condition. Hence, the answer is non-causal. Is this fine? So once we are done with that, the next condition is uh, to test this system for stability. Is this system stable or not? 
how do we test that for a system to be stable we know that its impulse response must be absolutely summable that means summation k equal to uh, not k it is n equal to n equal to minus infinity till infinity magnitude of h of n must be less than infinity it must be absolutely summable if this condition is satisfied i would say that the given system is stable so let me consider this that is equal to in our case n varies from minus infinity till infinity and uh, what do we have inside it is 1 divided by 4 magnitude of n so let me consider uh, can I just put the limit n equal to minus infinity till infinity? I cannot because uh, we'll just split up the limits. Split up the limits in the sense minus infinity till minus 1 we would consider one limit and another limit is going to be 0 to infinity. So we just split up that limit as n equal to minus infinity till minus 1. What do we have inside? We have 1 divided by 4. Is this fine? And uh, what is the value of n? Is it positive or negative? It is negative in that region. So hence it is 1 by 4 to the power minus 1 plus the next limits. So if I look at the image, the ne next limits are going to be 0 to infinity. Is this fine? So n is equal to 0 to infinity. H of n, what is H of n? It is 1 by 4 and here in this region n takes the positive value and I would put positive n. Is this fine? Yes. Uh, once we have written something like uh, this, it is end of signals and uh, systems. The next thing is simplification. That uh, For that, we need the concept of mathematics. So if I look here, these two look like the geometric series. And uh, first geometric series, I have to simplify this. So what I do here is, uh, in the first, in the first uh, geometric series, I would say put uh, n is equal to minus m so that I want all the positive things so what I'm going to get summation n is being replaced with m uh, instead of minus infinity I'm going to get plus infinity and at the upper limit minus 1 instead of that I'm going to get plus 1 as I have put n equal to minus m is this fine inside we have 1 by 4 to the power m earlier it was minus n minus n has been replaced with m is this fine plus the second geometric series I'll just keep this as it is so whatever the changes I have done it is only in the first term so put n equal to minus m in first term so do not alter the second term because it's already there in the standard geometric series so what is this going to be again I need to simplify this further I want 1 being the lower limit I want to write it here and infinity I would write it at the upper limit so it still does not make any difference I can alter the limits uh, the inside whatever I have it still remains the same 1 by 4 to the power m it is it is not going to change plus this I would still keep it as same n equal to 0 to infinity 1 by 4 to the power n so now both the terms are in standard geometric series I should know the formula to simplify this further what is the formula formula says that summation n equal to 0 to infinity alpha to the power n is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus alpha I can use this for the second term and for the first term I have the uh, uh, extrapolation of this uh, geometric series which is n equal to 1 to infinity alpha to the power n is equal to alpha divided by 1 minus alpha so these are the standard geometric series result if I know the answers of these things I can get the answer of the given numerical so therefore that is equal to uh, I have to use this one which is equal to alpha divided by 1 minus alpha in place of alpha I have 1 divided by 4 that gets divided by 1 minus 1 by 4 is this fine plus summation n equal to 0 to infinity alpha to the power n in place of alpha I have 1 by 4 which gets simplified something like this it is 1 divided by 1 minus alpha in place of alpha I have 1 divided by 4 is this fine so what I'm going to get ultimately so this is 1 by 4 
divided by I'm going to get uh, 4 minus 1 that is 3 by 4 if I take it to the numerator I'm going to get 4 by 3 plus here 1 divided by 1 minus 1 by 4 this is 3 by 4 in the denominator if I take it to the numerator I'm going to get 4 divided by 3 that is the simplification so 4 and 4 would cancel and I'm going to get 1 by 3 here and here I am going to get 4 by 3 so ultimately what is that going to be that is going to be 5 divided by 3 so the answer is is this less than infinity yes of course this is less than infinity and as the condition for stability is satisfied here it says it must be absolutely summable and we got the answer is it is absolutely summable and as it is less than infinity the given system is stable so let me write the same thing the given system is stable as it has satisfied the condition of impulse response to be absolutely summable is this fine uh, yes so first we have tested this system for causality and we said the given system is causal based on uh, how does h of n look like and the important point here is plot h of n first that gets us the result of is it causal or non-causal the answer is non-causal to test this for stability we have to consider the concept of geometric series here I have explained everything step by step hope you people have understood if there are still any doubts please do let me know them onto the comment section and I'm happy to answer those doubts and uh, we'll consider the next numerical uh, in the coming video lecture till then thank you so much for uh, watching